Okay, um, Pulte314 was asking me about these disc locks. He wanted to see the inside of one. Most of these disc locks that I uh, receive are cut off of storage units like this. The core is still good, intact, but they cut it off. So when I take this core out, I usually just cut a square on this back side, come out, and, the, and this core falls right out. But, uh, and I don't hardly ever get a six pin lock. Sometimes I do, and um, most of them are five pin. Okay, I've cut one open for Pocket 314 or for anyone that is uh, really interested in it. This is just the top cover. It's usually welded together. Okay, that is cut off. This is uh, what is inside the lock. You have the core. You have a little plate here. Uh, this little plate uh, probably comes off. I don't usually take them apart this way. But I'm sure it does come off. Let's just get it off these pins. Okay, there it goes. Okay, then this plate comes off of it. It's just got little holes in it that lines up with some lineup pins. So you've got uh, this piece off, then this piece comes off. Now you've got this mechanism here that is actually the uh, part of it is is already been cut off, but this uh, has a notch on this side, and this key turns and rotates this up into the other side of the, uh, like this nature here. So you have that. Then you have a uh, another little locking pawl here similar to it that actually I think uh, puts stress, well it's a spring loaded that puts stress on this uh, shackle to hold it uh, fairly tight. The lock itself, uh, let's see if we can get this piece off. Okay, that piece comes off, it's just spring loaded. Then you've got the lock itself that is here. See if we can get this out. You have a little tab that holds the, the lock in. Okay, that comes out. And this is the back half of the disc lock. Uh, this is not really attached, it's just fitting in a uh, tight spot here. This uh, this little piece here sh should come off. It usually does. Sometimes it's a little difficult, but none of this lock is ever is really uh, welded together except the two halves that holds everything together. Okay, this is uh, wanting to be contrary today. It's usually not that uh, difficult to get off, depending on the uh, disc lock, though. Okay, I believe it's coming now. There it is. Okay, that slides off. Then this is the uh, core where the key goes in and on the lock that I put this in I just cut off uh, let's see this side and smooth this out here and drop it into a uh, lock body and it works depending on which 
clock body you need to put it in. So that is uh, what uh, you have consisting of this uh, round disc type block is these parts here and we start off with uh, something of this nature and there's not many of these that have five pins I mean six pins some of them do this one has five even this five pin would have uh, worked in that lock I believe maybe not but anyway I put a six pin in the uh, Yen G lock padlock so I take this clip off I either pick this or I shim it I put a uh, blank key in put a shim in the back and just shim it is usually quicker just to shim it and take it out and make a key put it back together and put it into a lock if I need to put it into one so let me get a uh, master lock that I found that all right we have a um, four pin master lock I found out that this will work in a lot of these four pin master locks so let's take this uh, apart so you can put a uh, five pin core in this master lock and it will work and put a Yale type keyway in it so this is the uh, core that come out of the master lock and um, it is the same length you just have to uh, cut out the right spot on some of these locks all these uh, this locks won't work in this uh, these master locks, but some of them will. But you can uh, cut out the right spot, and it'll work. This one won't work in this core, but some of them do because they are the same length, pretty close to the same length to where that uh, on a lot of the master locks. These will fit down inside with just a little bit of uh, work and make it work. I've put it into a couple of master locks before in the past. So it just takes a little work to get it to work, but it will work. Okay, uh, Pote, uh, that's uh, what we have in this... Uh, disc lock, this round lock that they usually use on these storage units here in this area. So I appreciate your time. Please do not do anything illegal and please stay out of trouble and I hope I have been able to uh, help someone to see what is actually inside of these locks and thank you again.